So once when you produce your render, you also got a different types of render elements output from your 3D Max. And as you see in my preview, there are different color settings on the objects which we have selected previously in 3D Max and by bringing additional numbers to the object IDs and material IDs you got a bunch of maps in your output folder which you use now in your post-production workflow which I'm gonna show you right now how this works. Let's start with the basic render and bring it over in Photoshop all the rest you need to bring it over one by one and by following this folder structure which we recommend in the post-production workflow you can bring it inside the folder of render elements and in this way you have very clear structure on and eye on what's going on your working file and that thing is pretty important because during your work you can apply more than even 200 layers above each other and if you're not keeping the tidy structure on your folder and if you're not naming it you can easily lose the way of what you what's going on in your scene so again repeat bring all the render elements in one folder which you call render elements or just elements your render is standing just on the bottom of your folder structure you can also make another copy of it just for to be secure on that that that's going to be loose another folder named people and if you need to bring some more additional objects into your scene or would like to work out a little bit more you just need to bring it in the right folder with the right name so again I repeat the way of keeping uh, discipline on your workflow in Photoshop will allow you to get always a preview of what's going on in your scene so let's start with our reflection on the glazing and by selecting it with the help of the render element which is connected to our glazing objects we are bringing a mask over the reflection and put it in the screen so also you need to play a little bit of past until you getting nice shiny effects but you need to bear in mind that there is always the way to burn it out on your image what you scale and depends the opacity you are bringing over you just need to adjust in the right size and number of course you can bring more reflection by copying the same layer and putting in another blending mode like example um, color burn but that's coming next to the post-production and uh, adjustment workout you can also brush out a little bit in the area you don't like to have more reflection because this is if you 
bring much more of the settings if I, I mean if you increase much more the settings on the reflection you get uh, pretty much shiny effect which is uh, actually we lose the reflection effect you try to achieve so again we have also extra texture for ambient occlusion and normally if you are using the overlay blending mode you need to go much more under 30 percent you getting the dirt in the edges of your space there is also the z depth which we use for getting nice deepness in our space the way of using z depth you can watch in our free series in the tutorial about z depth and bringing color and masking you can get the nice deepness result in your scene so again if you go to our free tutorials and our channel in youtube you can find the tutorial of couple of ways you of using z depth and you can choose one of them they're all good and useful for your workouts so use one of them and you'll be satisfied by the results so normally when you start your workout in photoshop you just need first to adjust a little bit the curve because sometimes the gamma settings in from your 3d max is not set up in the right contrast and you need to bring much more contrast in your scene by using the curve I think our render in general is pretty clean and we need just to play a little more in detail in Photoshop by using the render elements how I said we have here the light map as you see you can bring some much more color if you want and many other things which will help to increase the quality and the photorealistic effect in your image so also because we have i would say 60 percent of our image covered with glass we need to play a little bit more with the reflection and refraction and again by brushing it out on the mask you just can pick the areas which you like to cover with reflection and to bring some more shyness on it so thanks for watching and i'm waiting your comments recommendation critiques stay subscribed and don't hesitate to ask